Hi, Snowflake. So, Star, are hmm. you wondering why Snowflake's out here? Um. Snowflake's your next teacher's pet. I was surprised that I found out my next teacher pet was my favorite horse, Snowflake. The reason that Jared and I chose to do this is so we can see her confidence level on a horse she already knows. I'm excited to see you tack up. It's quite easy. Is it? There we go. All right, Star. Show me the way. You know why Jared and I brought you Snowflake today? Why? Because today is about you and your riding ability. And we want to give you a horse today that you feel super, super comfortable on, right? So that we can kind of see your level, see where you are. To get you this, you know, horse that you're going to grow into and show and blossom on, right? And it's all about comfort, because if we gave you some giant horse like Mac, right, you're not going to feel as comfortable. When you want to go in the arena? Sure. So maybe when we go back to the arena, we can try maybe seeing you trot. OK. The truth is, I already know Star can trot on Snowflake. But there's something else I need to see. You want to show her how you can trot? Mm -hmm. Trot. Loves it. And it's good Should to see. Should be doing this all day long now? Well, I know. <laughs> all day long. I know. So she's amazing at the trot. I mean, she's comfortable, she's relaxed, her body, her posture. And then I wanted to talk to you about her canter. Did, has she done it or not? No. No canter? OK. Uh -huh. I found out that she has never cantered. Cantering is a very big deal for any young child. Knowing how to canter is really important for Star to learn before she gets her own horse. Because if he gets startled and begins to run or gallop, she'll need to know how to get her horse back under control. And cantering will be easier to learn. It's like a smooth run, whereas galloping is more of a sprint. She's ready. She's got all the courage in the world. OK, good. Um, I, I definitely good. think that she's ready. If you're comfortable, and yeah. of course, if Star is comfortable, maybe we could Head her attempt on the it on the lunge. Yeah. And, 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 it, and it will help Jared and I to see what the final horse will be. I agree. I, mean, it's I think really... it's it's an important, important step. You never know when your horse might take That's off. Right. You can't ever predict that. We got to have a girl talk. And since Snowflake's a mare, I think she could be in on this. She can be in. <laughs> no boys. Come here. OK. <laughs> so we have, we're going to talk to you. OK. I think today would be a great day for you, too. Um, I'm going to cry. We're so for excited. You to <laughs> canter on your horse. OK. You think you can do that? Mm -hmm. Then wait a minute. She's like, OK. Yeah. We think we're gonna canter today, Mom. Okay. You ready? As Are you mother. really ready? I have the right to be scared to death. Mom tends to be safe. I have learned, though, to step back and say, okay, let's do this. Not without biting my nails, however. <laughs> you ready? Are you really ready? We could just keep trying it and trying it until you get it. You ready to get it today? I know you could do it. I know you <laughs> could do it. Once you teach a little girl or anyone how to canter on a horse, that's it. Their, their, their wings are spread and they're off for flight. Heels down and squeeze. Collect your reins, trot. Hands are forward. Good girl, just feel nice and comfortable with it. One, two, one, two. OK, you ready? Squeeze harder. It's going to go faster. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, heels down. Trying to canter was really hard because I was not in control. Don't look at me, look at forward and ahead. She had a lot of fear, a lot of trepidation. She was scared. Ready? One, two, three, and trot. Trot. Hands up, look, and canter. Canter. Whoa. Her foot's oh, 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 put your foot in, put your foot in. OK, Star, that's what I'm talking about. You're all right. It's OK. It's OK. Oh, Mayor, in. OK, listen to me. It's OK, sweetheart. It's OK. It's OK. You're doing so good. Sweetheart. 
It's okay. Star. Star needs to have the confidence to Cantor if she's going to be safe on her own horse. Cantor. But she may not be ready. Oh, 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 oh. Put your foot in. Put your foot in. Okay, Star, that's what I'm talking about. You're all right. Come here. Oh, Mayor. In. Okay, listen to me, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, you're doing so good. <laughs> the moment that the horse went forward and actually got into it is the moment that she just couldn't hold on anymore with her muscles. And that's part of her rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> do you remember feeling this way at the top, baby? <laughs> you do, huh? Do you remember feeling this way when... <laughs> Star? <laughs> It's hard to make our muscles do that, huh? To stay down, huh? The scary part about cantering was when she first started doing that thing, and I'm all like, OK, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm cantering, and I'm trying to slow her down, and I'm crying. My foot slipped out. When I was little, my horse, there was a rider in front of me, and I was about nine. and. There was a log, we were trail riding, and the girl in front of me went poof, and jumped over the log, and I just, I was trotting, and I went right up to the log, and my horse went ah! and I went Phew! onto the other side. There I went without my horse, right? Mm. And I got scared. I got super, super scared. And they had to tell me to get back on the horse right away. I had to get back on the horse, and I was crying, and I didn't want to get back on my horse. I didn't want to get back on it. But <laughs> that day, mm -hmm. right, I got back on my horse, and I went over the log. And my life was it was different from that day on. Feel better now? Yeah? You want to just walk her around? Yeah? Walk Squeeze. on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Look and squeeze again. Come on, tell her. You have to tell her. Canter. Canter. There he goes. Canter. Kick. Got to give her a kick. Good. Again. Again. Hands down, hands down. Good. Squeeze. Push it through. We were all kind of sitting there going, is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? I mean, I didn't know what to think. And then all of a sudden, Star's face changed, and she said, Cantor! Yes! Wow! Nice! She came through. She absolutely decided, Cantor. And she did it. Pull back. <laughs> Pull back. That's how it feels, OK? High fives all around. Look at four. <laughs> How was that? Sit back. It was hard. It, it was, was hard. hard. Yay! Mom, what do you think, Mom? <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> very proud. It was a very emotional moment when Star broke into a canter. I mean, we're, we're waiting. We could see it. You could see it in her face. Can I? Can't I? Am I going to do it? And, Julie standing on the side of the ring, her mother, you know, nervous. And it was just such a, almost a release when that horse went into the canter. Cantering for the first time is scary. Usually when I trot, it's smooth. But when I canter, it's like. That's great, honey. It was so emotional for me because I knew how fearful she was. She's definitely shown me today that she can go ahead and be safe out there with her own horse. And it's a proud moment. <laughs> Just her willingness gives Jared and I a much better idea of what kind of horse she can handle and what will bring her into the next phase in her life. Right. You look at this little girl, it kind of makes you look at yourself and things that you're scared of and yeah. say, you know what? I can do it. Star did it. I can do it. So you learn that, you know, anything's possible. Anything is possible.